Well, hello again everybody, it's back to this diesel heater job and uh, I've got this 8mm connector for the gas line where I stripped the old gas heater out. There are a few failed attempts at getting the right size for this, so let's see if this 8mm one works. Right, now that's that done, let's uh, test it. Let's turn the, the gas on. Yep, that's on. Turn that off again. Let's check for leaks under the van. Yeah, can't see any sign of any uh, bubbling up there, so I think that's good. Right, now I just need to remove these redundant bits of uh, pipe work that fed the old heater. So those pipes led up to this little isolation valve in the cupboard, so we'll also pull that out. Now we get the van back down off the ramps. Right, that boxing in has been clamped up all week. Let's unclamp it, check everything's uh, glued up nicely and fit that back in the van while we consider how to proceed. Right, now I'm going to measure pretty accurately this width along here because I want to make up a panel to take the outlet and the control and probably later on a switch because uh, as you know this is wired in permanently and uh, I want to put a switch on the live feed for the whole thing at some point. It's if I come up probably about 120. I've got this vent to fit in to take the hose with the warm air from the heater and I think the cover just pops off there and obviously goes on with some screws but I need to find a hole cutter about the right size for this and cut a suitable hole in this board so uh, I'm going to tackle that next. Well, that is on there nicely now, but I also want to get the control panel mounted on there. So I need to take that off the van. Right, I'm just going to disconnect the leisure battery so there's no power going through that switch when I disconnect it. So yeah, now there's no power into that switch, so can just uh, undo that connector. Right, let's take this 
to the garage. That's a shame in a way the uh, cable doesn't go into the back of this switch or I could uh, hide it all the way a bit neater but basically what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the plywood um, the size of that plug so I can get that through then uh, mount that over the top of it and I'll maybe just have to drill another um, slot because I don't want to undo any of these connections they're all sort of permanently crimped in so I just cut a little slot down and uh, I can run the wires through there Well, strangely, the kit didn't have any screws in it to fix this panel onto anything. And they're really, really tiny holes. So as you might have guessed, I had to drill them out a little bit. And I've used some of these nylon fixings just to hold them on. It does look a bit weird. It'd be nicer with some black fixings or maybe some metal ones. But uh, yeah, that's all right, I think. Right, well, the intention is that this uh, panel it goes there so what I want to do and it's supposed to be sort of flush with the face so what I want to do is cut a couple of bits of this batten that I can fix on inside and uh, hold this up so I think what I need to do is cut them probably just at 100 mil because uh, I want to leave a space at the top because I want to also put a batten along the top and then I want to end up with this as a bit of a shelf so let's go and cut a couple of bits of this at 100 mil Right, now the game is going to be to fix these little battens uh, but leave sufficient gap so that ply is pretty flush. So I've cut myself a little bit just to help me do that. next is fit a little bit of batten along the top there if I can find something suitable and just put a couple of screw holes in there so that can be fixed back so it's back to the garage I'm afraid so I found a, a suitable bit of batten but I've got to rip it down a bit because it's too wide mm. Right, well, it's a little bit later, so uh, that glue should have hardened up. Let's uh, fix this on. Right, now what I want to do is um, fix a batten to the back, because I'm going to make a little shelf to drop in there. Uh, and then this can become like uh, a little bit of extra storage space. Mm -hmm. 
Well, because this backboard is really thin and uh, I think it, behind there is just that thin cladding at the back of the gas locker. So I don't want to screw through and find I've got the ends of the screws in the gas locker. So I'm going to glue this batten into position. I've got these little blocks just to hold a bit of pressure on while the glue sets. I'm going to use my square just to make a couple of marks um, so that the, uh, the shelf sits level and shouldn't rattle around. Hopefully. There's a little bit on the end there where there's just a little bit of a step. So I'm just going to go back to the garage and notch this out slightly uh, with a chisel. Back in a minute. There we go, I actually just took that out with a coping saw. A bit crude, but uh, it'll serve our purpose okay. measured up for the bit of board I need for the shelf so uh, yeah let's cut that out well unfortunately time has beaten me again and it's time to pack away I've got some other stuff got to get done tonight and then I'm off to help someone with another project tomorrow so this will have to wait again i'm afraid uh there will be yet more episodes on this but uh, i hope you've enjoyed this one and i hope you've enjoyed following this diesel heater install so far we'll see you on the next one well that's all for now if you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends give the like button a press and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more uh...